check it out, soon. Check it out. Now, it appears that XXXTentacion, he wanted that old thing back, okay? Now, when I first heard about XXXTentacion and also Ski Master Slump God, I thought they were literally families. I thought they were either real brothers or cousins, okay? Now, they happen to be really good friends. Now, as time went on, X went to jail a couple times, and the last time he came out of jail, he defended Ski Master Slump God's honor on stage. Of course, we saw what happened because he got knocked out. However, after that, it appears that these two ain't been rocking together. We hear from X who says, y'all wanted to be my friend. Then Ski Mask comes out and says, dog, listen, I got love for you, but I'm going to stay at a distance because you were the person... You threatened my family and told me that I was supposed to be a sacrifice or some crazy shit, and I got to separate myself. You you tripping, okay? Now, we're hearing both sides, and it appears that X just want to be friends, but clearly Ski Mask is saying, I need to separate from you for my own good. We hear X is not repping certain brands that, of course, Ski Mask is now affiliated with. So it's a lot going on. However, X hopped back on Instagram, and he said this. He said, Slum God, don't care about what you said about me. You know who got your back. Love you forever. Then he said unconditionally. Okay. Now, I have to say that X seems sincere in reaching out to Ski Mask. Uh, apparently, he wants to mend this friendship. Ski Mask seems like he has no care in the world to mend that friendship. And it feels like he likes the new limelight he's getting because he's not underneath X. That's another thing that's going to play a part in this. X is such a huge artist, if you're too close to him, I, keep, I always say this, you hang too close to the motherfucker, you're going to be in the shadow eventually, okay? So, Ski Mask is kind of doing his thing, and he's kind of, like, surviving, and he's kind of, like, glowing up. So, I'm not too sure if he's too eager to run to hang around X, even if it's on a musical tip, but what about a friendship? I don't know where their friendship is at, okay? Clearly, X values it, he's reaching out. He obviously is not going to slander Ski Master Slum God's name. The only thing he said is that he helped him out and he stood up for him. And he doesn't feel like that was reciprocated. But he's kind of kept it cordial considering when he did have problems or there were disagreements with him and, say, Drake or fucking Amigos. And I know he don't know those guys. He went straight to the mamas and the girlfriends, okay? He's keeping it real respectful and we'll see where this goes. If you followed X recently, he's been a different space mentally, where mentally he's saying he don't know if you want to go on. He don't know if you want to continue to do all this. And he was talking about all the trauma he's gone through, all the relationships that has been soured with him over the years, how his family life, him not having a father. So we'll see how this plays out. I wish the best for both of them. And if that means they got to stay separated, fuck it. But if that means they link back up and fans can see that combination again, that would be dope. Get a comment box. But you guys like, what do you guys think about this? Okay. Do you think X is toxic for people around him? Because that's what I'm hearing from a lot of people who don't mind. Because at first I was real critical, like, yo, ski mask, dog. Yo, he held you down. You got to do this. Some people believe X is toxic for those around him. I don't know. Get a comment box. But you guys like them. Subscribe to academics. I'll tell you one thing, though. Ain't nobody gonna tell me I'm a goddamn sacrifice. That don't sound too right, man. That, that sounds like some Illuminati fuckery, all right? Yeah, get in the comments. Make sure, by the way, turn on the post notifications, please. Come on.